watch you guys got another video here for you now before I create this video I just wanted to give you a quick heads up of what's been happening and the reason why I've not been making many videos lately there's a few reasons for it but the main reason is because of health issues in my family and I need to put all my energy and time into uh, dealing with that they are pretty serious health issues and obviously YouTube is something that I do uh, to help you guys for free and uh, health does come first I'm afraid now I may be neglecting your comments and your questions and also not been putting much content up and for that I do apologize but I hope you do understand and uh, I do appreciate all the support that you've been giving me over the years now hopefully once this is all being cleared up and everything's good then I will return to making more videos on a regular basis now I will try to make the odd video here and there I'm not sure how many I can get done uh, but I will try uh, to do those and uh, I'm not sure how regular I will be in answering your questions and stuff like that so do uh, understand that I, I can't answer all those due to the time element okay so thanks again for watching uh, all my videos and thanks for supporting me over the years. Hopefully I'll be able to resume back to normal in the near future. Anyway, to this video, this is going to be about Microsoft Office and how to customize it using the Office customization tool. So what I've got here is a folder on my desktop. And uh, as you can see here, this is the contents of a CD. And uh, I've just dragged those into uh, a folder. You can name the folder whatever you like. And uh, you will see inside here uh, an important folder called admin. And uh, this folder here is uh, going to be what we'll be using. But if you haven't got that, that's because you've got the retailed version and you won't be able to follow through with what I'm doing here. OK, so first off, let's open up a command prompt here. I'm just going to quickly type in there CMD and we're going to open that up. Now, once we've got that open, we're going to just drag this setup.exe file into there to get the path and then hit the space bar once. And then we're going to type forward slash admin and this is going to open up our Microsoft Office customization tool. And there you can see it there. So now we can create a new uh, customization or we can open an existing one. We're going to be creating a new one here and uh, there's the existing one if you've got one. So click OK. Now, once this is loaded up, we're not going to be able to cover all of these here because there is just far too much to uh, cover. I'll try and cover some of the uh, bare essentials that you will need. OK, so you can see here we've got the welcome part and now we're going to click on the setup bit, which is the install location and organization name. There you can see uh, the installation path and uh, you can change that if you wish. Uh, I'm going to leave that as default for now in this video, but organization name will be everything that you see on your documents. So I'm just going to put in there Brytech. Uh, add additional network sources. Well, as you can see here, this will be the installation point. So you can add one of those in by just hitting the add button here and adding your network path here. And you can see an example on the screen right now. Pretty straightforward stuff, really. We're not going to be using that in this video. So we're going to close that off. Now the licensing and user interface, this will be the part uh, which will be to do with your license key and your agreement and you can set this up as use KMS. Now KMS is a product key that is not required because it's um, embedded pre-installed into the installation part. OK, so you won't need to worry about that if you're using the KMS part and it's for um, enterprise deployments. But if you're going to be using the other one, which is the 25 character key volume license, you can get that and put that in here, OK, with no spaces. So you just put that product key in there and you're good to go. But we'll leave it on the U user KMS client um, key. Also, we're going to put the tick into the accept terms and agreements license agreement. I'm going to pull down the little tab here and set this up to none because we don't want the, the display that it's going to be a silent install. And also we're going to put in no cancel. That's pretty much good to go there. Once you've done that, we're going to move on to the remove previous installations. Now remove previous installations is if you want to leave a previous installation of Office, say 2010 on. Say, for instance, it was uh, something like uh, Office Outlook. You can see here it's set to default and remove all. So we're going to put remove the following and leave everything as remove all but we want to leave on say office outlook so we need to do here is you can just uh, double click on that remove the tick from there 
and click OK. And once you do that, you'll say remove none. It won't remove none of that, OK? It will leave it on the system. And that's just in case you want to use that um, instead of the new version that you've got, OK? So if you're setting it all up. Here we can add in um, installations and run programs. We're not going to cover that in this video. It's a bit more in depth. Also the same with office security settings. We'll cover that probably in another video if need be. OK, so let's take a look at modify setup properties. Here you can add in changes to your installation and uh, what you need to do here is you can click on the add button and say for argument's sake you wanted to change the reboot uh, properties of that of your installation you could put in there something like setup underscore reboot and set the value to never and that will allow the uh, PDQ de deployment to take care of the rebooting rather than the installation. Another example would be auto activate and value one. And you can add that in there also. And other ones, there's loads of other types that you can add in as well. OK, but that just gives you a rough example of what you can do there. There's loads of information on the Internet of how to customize that part as well. OK. So let's take a look at um, another area. We can take a look at some features and you can see modify user settings here and also set feature installation uh, status. You can click on the plus sign there and say for argument's sake you wanted to dis disable a publisher or maybe you wanted to stop the installation of Outlook or something like that. You could do that. Now by leaving Outlook on the previous version you may want to disable uh, Outlook in this case. You can just click on the not available part here. Um, you just click on not available and that would then refuse to install that part from the Office 2013 on the, on the installation okay and use the old one. That's pretty straightforward stuff. You've got additional content add and remove files here add registry entries and remove registry entries and so on. That's a little bit more advanced stuff. Uh, configure shortcuts as well you've got there we can cover those maybe in another video uh, it would take too long to cover everything uh, Outlook profile again um, you can see that's using an existing profile uh, add accounts and export settings and stuff like that we can cover all this stuff in another video okay so we need to save this so we're going to go file save as and we need to save it into our Microsoft Office folder and you can name it whatever you like here um, whatever suits you uh, and it will be an extension of MSP.MSP .msp. we're going to call it office dash custom and then dash setup and then we'll save that and that will be the file extension now once you've saved this it will create the file and then you can install this from a network uh, installation point or whatever you want to do really. Um, so we can close that off and as you can see uh, if I open up the folder now you will see the file that's been created inside there. Now you can click on this and install it but you could also install this over the network if you wanted to um, pretty much we'd need to do here. If you wanted to do this in command prompt, uh, we'll just get that path again. I'll just quickly drag that in like so, and then I'll just do space forward slash admin file. And then space. And then you can type in the name of that file, which will be office dash custom. And then dash setup. And then dot MSP. And once you've done that, you'll be pretty much good to go. And that will start to install, as you can see. You can see it installing silently. So now that's installing silently in the background, we can have a look here. Once it's finished installing, you'll see go to Programs, Microsoft Office 2013, and you will see all your files that you've uh, set up to be installed like so. It's that simple guys. That's how you can easily 
sign and install Office 2013. So that's basically how you use the Microsoft Office customization tool to create your own custom silent installs uh, of Microsoft Office 2013. Okay. So my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, then hit the like button, guys, and also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. Now, hopefully, uh, in the future, things will get back to normal and I'll be able to upload more videos more frequently. And thanks for understanding and thanks for sticking around. Bye for now.